Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you guys all the possible ways of connecting the Eero Pro 6 routers to each other. I have all the Ethernet cables here, I have my cable modem here, I have my switches here. So I'm actually going to demo this and we're going to walk through it and I'm going to show you guys by actually making the connections. But before I do that, I quickly want to go over what a mesh Wi-Fi system is because these are mesh Wi-Fi routers essentially. It's a, it's a mesh Wi-Fi system, I should say. So mesh Wi-Fi is when you get two or more devices, let's say you get two or more routers or if you get a router and extender or you get two routers and extender, basically two or more, that expands your network. So basically if I connect to the Wi-Fi with my device and I'm in like this room and I'm connected, it's like, oh, you're closer to me and I'm connected to this guy and then I you know I have good speeds and everything and I go to the other room and it's like okay well you have a stronger connection to me so connect to me and so it automatically decides that and automatically connects to this other one and then I pretty much have strong Wi-Fi signal throughout my place that's basically what it does do I need to do anything on my phone to connect to this one no I don't everything is automatic as long as I connect to one network name, one SSID, which is what the Mesh Wi-Fi does. It gives you one name, one network name. And as long as you're connected to that, you can walk out throughout your place. It will automatically switch to the other ones. It will determine like, hey, this one's a better connection connected to this guy. Everything's automatic. Okay, so now that I've explained that, let's get into um, how it all works. So this is my cable modem. My modem does not have a router built in. It is just a modem. If you do have a modem with a router built in, what you need to do is disable that router portion of it or put the router in bridge mode, which essentially disables it. The reason why you want to do that is if you don't do that, and technically you don't have to do that, but the reason why you want to do that is because if you don't do that, you're going to have two different network names. And I, I think most people don't want that. Um, you know, if you do want that, obviously, then keep it that way. But uh, from what I've seen, most people just want one network. That's what I personally want. Uh, so the system that I'm talking about is going to create one network name throughout your place to simplify everything. Because when you have two, it really complicates a lot of things. Okay, so... I have a modem, I don't need to disable it because it's not a modem router combo. Now my modem has two ethernet ports. Now typically each one has its own IP address but you would, I would have to actually pay uh, for another fee to actually get a second, a different IP address on the second port. So obviously my second port is actually disabled and I only get internet access from my first port. So that's the one I'm going to use. So I get my ethernet cable and I connect my modem and now here the options start so just because this is a mesh Wi-Fi system doesn't actually mean I need to use more than one I could just buy a single Eero Pro 6 router and use it by itself and it will basically act like a normal router now what I do is I connect this to any one of these two ports because they are auto sensing it does not matter which one you use they are auto sensing, so I could connect it to this one, the router will pick it up. I could connect it to this one, it does not matter. Whichever one you want to connect it to, use that one. So when I do this in the Eero app on your phone, either on iOS or Android, you basically set it up, you get the Eero app, it, it asks you to do a few steps, it's very simple, and you basically set up your router. And then pretty much the only thing is really asking you is like, hey, turn on the router and then and then turn on your modem and then pick a Wi-Fi name and password. Now here's the cool thing. If you're replacing a router and you don't want to go and connect all your devices to uh, this router individually, what you can do is actually use the same Wi-Fi name and password basically for the SSID for the network name and all your devices will automatically connect to this. So if you don't want to go, uh, let's say your Wi-Fi name on your old router was called LandPay Wi-Fi and your password was, I don't know, subscribe1234, then you, if you would use that same name and password on this guy, all your devices will automatically connect to this guy. It does not matter if your previous router was an Eero, a Netgear, a Nest Wi-Fi, a Netgear Orbi, it does not matter. Uh, Linksys, any, anything. Uh, 
the devices will see that SSID, they'll connect to it, and, and if the password works, boom, you're good. Okay, so now that I have this connected, I have a wireless network, and I have one port available to me. So if I have a single computer and I only need that one connected via Ethernet, well, just connect that. Uh, so grab another cable and you and for Ethernet and for all this stuff that I'm talking about I will have product links in the description below um, so I typically get cat 6 or cat 7 cables but if you have cat 5e not cat 5 but cat 5e it does support gigabit so you should be okay but I typically get cat 6 or cat 7 cables now when I buy them uh, but I will have product links in the description below so if I only needed one port, I could just use this port and then I'm done. I basically hook this up to the computer. I'm done. I'm good to go. Everything else is wireless. Um, so I basically have my device. I connect to this. I'm good. Oh, and I should also mention that if you have an older router that's separate from your modem, if you're wondering, hey, can I use that? I would recommend against that unless it was an Eero router. If it was an Eero router, then I would do my Eero Pro 6 as my main one, and then I would use that one as a secondary uh, router, which will basically be an extender. Um, but if it's not Eero, I would not use it personally, uh, because I think you're just gonna complicate things. If you need more ports, then I recommend getting an unmanaged switch, which is uh, fairly inexpensive and again, I will have links in the description below. Okay, so option one, router by itself, connected to modem, and I have one port that's available to me, I hook it up to my computer, I'm done. If I need more ports, well, what do I do? Well, I get an unmanaged switch. And then I can hook it up to any port I want. It does not matter which port I use. I could use this port, doesn't matter. Use this port, doesn't matter. Uh, the switch will figure it out for me. The router will figure it out for me. Do I need to go into the switch and set any options? No. Can my switch be a D-Link when this is an Eero? Yes. Can my switch be a TP-Link when this is an Eero? Yes. Can I use D-Link and TP-Link at the same time? Yes. If unmanaged switch brands do not matter. You can use any brand of uh, of an unmanaged switch you want. It is compatible with Eero, it's compatible with Neki Orbi, it's compatible with Nest Wi-Fi, it's compatible with Linksys. Pretty much the unmanaged switches, they are all compatible with pretty much all the routers, unless you have like some super super special condition. Uh, but as far as I know, um, you could pretty much pick up any unmanaged switch and it will be compatible with the routers. So in this case, I am using a D-Link, I also have a TP-Link. Uh, so this one is an eight port switch, which means I have seven usable ports. Why do I have seven? Well, one is reserved for this guy. So when I, obviously I, I hook this up so this can have network access, I only have seven other ones available to me. So now I can basically connect. Now I can basically connect any one of these other ports, does not matter and then hook this up to my computer and if I need more ports well just connect it to anyone you want does not matter you have a PlayStation you want to hook it up to your PlayStation you're good to go you still have a few more ports available so that's basically option one where you have a router and if you need more ports just get an unmanaged switch if you need more ports get a bigger unmanaged switch this is a 24 port that has 23 usable ports because again you're using one for your network okay uh and if you're wondering hey can i get two switches and hook them hook them up to each other yes you can do that so if i wanted to i could hook this up to this switch directly and now i have more ports so as long as you're under 253 devices um you should be good to go uh the reason why is because Inside that IP address field, it's called an octet. You, you can go up to 256, but the first one and the last one are reserved. Um, technically, you go up to 255 um, because it starts at zero and you go to 255. So actually you have 256 available. 
um, but three of them are reserved, like the first one's reserved, the last one's reserved, and then you also reserve one for your router. So that's why you have 256 minus 3, you have 253 available. Uh, if you need more than that, you need to change your subnet, map, subnet mask and a few other things, and basically you're getting outside the scope of this video. Uh, most people do not need more than that. Um, okay, yeah, so if you want to hook up more switches, boom, you're good to go. Now we get to option number two. I will disconnect this just for now to keep things simple. Now we get to option two. Okay, with option two, you get an Eero 6 extender. Now, this will work fine even though this is a dual band extender and this is a tri-band router, it will still work fine. Um, so you go to another room and then you basically hook this up to the power through a USB-C and then in your Eero app you add it and it automatically detects it and it's like, yeah, I know what this is. And now these are wirelessly connected to each other. When you're closer to this guy, your phone, your device, I should say, whether it's a tablet, laptop, phone, whatever, as long as you're on Wi-Fi, it will automatically connect to this guy when you're close to this. When you go to the other one, it will automatically connect to this. Now, I did a few other videos on the Euro Pro 6, and I went over all the different speeds that you guys get, so be sure to check that video out. I will put a link in the description below for that as well. But essentially, your speeds are basically going to get cut in half uh, with this because this is a wireless connection and this is a dual band connecting to a tri-band um, and it's just not as powerful as this it, this has a much faster speed rating as well um, and again because it's a tri-band um, and a few other things um, so so yeah so that's option two so you basically have this you're free to use any of these ports you're free to use both of these switches uh, and then this guy in the other room, um, or two rooms away, uh, is basically expanding your wireless network to the point that, you again, you connect to one network name, you walk around your place, it automatically decides for you, and you're good to go. You're watching a YouTube video, it's going to be un uninterrupted in most cases, if not all cases. Okay, so now we get to option three. If that's not fast enough for you, you get two Eero Pro 6 routers and you connect them to each other via Ethernet. This is going to give you, anytime you could choose Ethernet over Wi-Fi, you're going to typically get better speeds because you have a hardwired connection. So, you're, but you're wondering like, okay, well, I'm using a switch here because I have a few devices here. Do I have to go from router to router? No, you could go from router to router, or you can go from router to switch to router. So this, this will actually work fine. So you have, as long as there's an ethernet connection, if you follow the line, you're like, okay, this is going to switch. And then from the switch, this is going to the router. As long as that connection is there, it will detect it. It'll say, oh, it's a hardwired connection and you're gonna get really good speeds. You're gonna get consistent speeds whether you're closer to this guy or this guy. This is, the, this is the option that I'm currently using. This is the option that I recommend. Um, and then if you're wondering, okay, well if I do this, can I use this ethernet port on this secondary router which is acting as an extender? Uh, and the answer is yes, yes you can. So what you can do is you can basically use this uh, so if you have, let's say, an Xbox or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you can connect this other port to the Xbox and then you're good to go. If you need more ports, what do you do? Well, you get another switch, uh, an unmanaged switch. Uh, and then you could basically hook up this guy. Instead of hooking this up to your Xbox and then you're done with all the ports, you hook this up to your switch. Do you need a 24-port switch? Well, that depends on you. Um, you can get a smaller sizes and stuff. There's eight ports, there's four ports, there's, you know, 16 ports. There's, um, there's even larger ones than this. Um, so essentially this is going to give you 23 usable ports and feel free to connect it to anyone you want. This one, you could connect it to anywhere you want. It does not matter. I typically connect it to the first one or the last one just as a 
have it just because it's easier to see well oh, it's like i always know like oh the first one's the one that's hooked up to the modem but now these that these are color coded it doesn't even really matter all that much and then you can use any of the other ones if you want to use this one hook this up to your xbox you're good to go if you need another one hook it anywhere you want does not matter and then hook it up to your other device whatever your playstation your computer anything that requires ethernet hook it up and you will have network access and you have all these other ports that you can use sometimes and this is always the best option and you can also go from router to switch to switch to router as well so you can go from so instead of going uh, like from this guy to this guy you could just go from this guy to this guy and then because this guy is connected to this you're, you're good to go so it doesn't matter you can do it that way also okay so now comes the question what if you can't run a wire because it's not always possible in everyone's case where they could run an ethernet cable you know and the answer is well you could do option four option four is when you get two Eero Pro 6 routers and you basically connect them to each other wirelessly so what you do and let me disconnect this white one from from this guy so there's a clear separation so your main one uh, your gateway router is hooked up to everything here you're good to go you go to another room or two rooms away and then you hook this up to the power port and you add it in the Eero app and it automatically detects it and it wirelessly connects to this. So now there's a wireless connection between these two. If you do that, can you use these ports to connect devices? Yes, you can. You can connect, you can go, you can use two of these ports now. So if you only really need two ports, you don't need an unmanaged switch. If you need more than two ports, then you need an unmanaged switch to get more ports out of it. Um, but yeah, if you only needed two, you, you wouldn't even need this. You could basically just, you know, take this out, connect this to whatever device you're going to connect it to. And then, you know, this guy you don't need. And then connect this guy and connect it to some other device you want to, and you're done. You don't, you don't need the unmatched switch. The only time you need this is when you need more ports, then you're like, okay, well, I need to connect this guy um, here. And then you can use the, you can still use this port. You can also use all of these ports as well. And so that's option number four. Now option number four, and again, I went over all the speed tests in my other videos, uh, but typically this one, the Eero Pro 6 does pretty well. It didn't do amazing for wireless AC devices, but it did do amazing for wireless AX devices. Um, but they might push an update to make it better for wireless AC as well. But as a general rule of thumb, it's always better to connect them via Ethernet uh, as a general rule of thumb. Now, if you're wondering, okay, well, can I get one Eero Pro 6 router and get a Eero 6 router? And the answer is yes, you can. So if you got the Eero 6 router, you know, you could, you could do the same exact, everything that I said with all the other options, you could just use these two in place of two Eero Pro 6 routers. That, that's, that's also fine. You can also have two Eero Pro 6 routers and in another room hook up this Eero 6 router and then when you're walking around it will automatically connect to the best one. Now in terms of wireless speeds again I went into this with my other video but you're going to get better speeds if you get two Eero Pro 6 routers or multiple Eero Pro 6 routers. It, it makes a difference wirelessly uh, but ever, if you're mostly using hardwired stuff if you have Ethernet throughout uh, then maybe getting an Eero Pro 6 router is pointless because that's really where the difference between the Eero 6 and the Eero Pro 6 is that the Eero Pro 6 has better Wi-Fi coverage and Wi-Fi speeds. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to all my current subscribers. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment sections below. I try my best to answer them.